I've been waiting months. I had this on pre-order since April or May and it's finally here to unbox. Wow. Warner Brothers. Sit that to the side. Look at that. In 4K. What have we got? On the back. All of the 30 films you'll be getting. Uh, sexual violence, strong horror, drug misuse. Well, isn't all drugs misused? I suppose if you're taking painkillers. Anyway. Very strong language. That's what you get. And if you look on the side, look, that's the limited number 320 out of 1200. So I'll just slip that on. And then you just get a nice shiny gold box. Not much on the back, on the bottom. And then, <gasps> as if by magic, look. Oh, it's magnetic as well, look. So that will just snap back together. And then this side opens up, but there's nothing to come out of this side, so I don't know why they did it like that. And then we have that one, two, three, and four. Just, so we'll open um, this one first. So we'll open this first. What have we got? We've got all the pictures. Look on the back. Beetlejuice, Elvis. And then I don't know. If, I don't think this is magnetic, is it? No, it just opens up. And then uh, what have we got in here? Oh, what's in there? We'll have a look at that in a sec. And the pins, look, here's all the. They're actually metal, they're not plastic. Look, all the different. Uh, that one's copper. Which one's that for? Well, I suppose, yeah, because that one's copper, isn't it? Let me know in the comments which, your, which one is your favourite. I remember this one, I think that's a 70s one. I don't know, I think. It's probably that one is my favourite. Maybe that one. And then what do we have in here? What's this? What's this? Oh, this is a poster look of all the films that are in the collection. You can see that properly. We'll go through all the films in just a momento. And then we have a, a nice thick book. Shining and what does these what do they say? Oh I suppose it's like um you know when you look at the back of the case and it gives you like a little description of the film and whatnot. There he is, old Paul Newman. John Wayne, James Dean. We won't go through it all because we'll be here forever. And that's just uh, the films we get. So we'll put that to one side and we'll open up the, uh, the films. Should we go in reverse order or should we start? No, we'll start with the um, this one. This is Classic Hollywood, 1930s to 1960s. So if we uh, open it up, what have we got? These are all the films that come in this collection. We've got, I'm sure we'll see in a minute. And then there's a timeline look, starting all the way back in 1923. The average price for a movie ticket is 25 cents. Brothers Albert, Sam, Harry and Jack Al Warner 
in, in what? Incorporate their company as Warner Brothers Incorporated. Oh, wow. That's when it all started. 100 years ago. There's the first two films we have. Wizard of Oz and Citizen Kane. These are the... Uh, a bit... I wish they had um, done a pictures on the disc rather than just leaving them blank like that but I suppose it's um, in keeping you only get the 4k as well you don't get any blu-rays or any of that uh, and they also do another collections throughout the year they've been doing where you get five films but this comes with ten in each um, decade rather than five well, not decade, but uh, in each like era, if you know what I mean. And then we have um, the Maltese Falcon and Casablanca. I like the, uh, the original posters. Look, it's nice, isn't it? Oh, singing in the rain, east of Eden. Then we have Rebel Without a Cause and. Rio Bravo and some other more of the and then we have um, Cool Hand Luke and 2001 A Space Odyssey and that's it and then there's just a oh, there's nothing on there oh. that's the first one done and then um, we have uh, volume 2 here's look, Jack Nicholson who uh, else we got Bruce Lee oh, what's his name what's his name out of Clockwork Orange Malcolm McDowell, that's his name isn't it and they're the same pictures on the back they are the same pictures but in a different order a bit lazy that is, a bit lazy and then there's the other timeline um, this goes from 1970s to the 1980s. And there we have Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Not to be confused with the newer one, which was Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. A Clockwork Orange, which was banned at one time in the UK. Um, there's the disc slot. These ones are blue to match the uh, set. Some people don't like these um, things where they s where the disc slides in and out because they think it's going to scratch the discs. But Blu-ray and um, tend not to scratch as much unless you really try to scratch them. So it should be okay. And then we have Enter the Dragon and The Exorcist. Now. Um, and The Exorcist is the theatrical cut, not the extended. And then we have Superman and The Shining. I think they did a Superman set earlier in the year. If you would, if you want to check that out, if you want all the films. I'm only really bothered about the first two. Superman 3 is okay. And the fourth one, well, we know who made that, didn't we? And then we have Blade Runner and The Goonies. Now I'm going to be very controversial here and say I, do, I don't really like Blade Runner. Is this the... Um, what cut is that? Oh, that's the, it's the final cut of Blade Runner. I don't, maybe I'll like it better now it's in 4K, but uh, I won't hold my breath. And we have Beetlejuice and Batman. They're supposed to be redoing... Well, not redoing Beetlejuice, they're going to do a sequel. Not it needs one, they need to leave films alone. And then we have that, that is that. And then we go on, on to the, the last one. This is volume three. Look, we've got a bit of Denzel, um, Carrie Ann Moss, and Keanu Reeves. What have we got on the back? There he is, look. No Mel Gibson though, was he? Oh, I'll give you a sneak peek then, didn't I? Sneaky peeks. 
another timeline. We have Goodfellas and Unforgiven. And these discs are, these are black discs, more in keeping with the Ultra HD. And a Shawshank Redemption, which I have never actually seen. I know it's a crime, but now I can finally get around to watching it. The Matrix, the original and probably the best. Training Day and uh, Argo, which I've never seen either of those, so there's lots of films in this collection I've not seen. And you have Mad Max, Fury Road and It, which is weird because it's only got the first film and not the, the second part. So it's a bit of a weird inclusion into the collection if you're not going to have the second part. And then we have A Star Is Born and from 2022 which was last year, which will date this video, is Elvis. I'm not really keen on f musical kind of films, or so, but we'll give them a go. You never know until you try something. Anyway, that, and that is that. The complete collection, all 30 films in one nice, beautiful box set. It wasn't cheap, but it was only £10 a film, so that so if you can do those maths, you'll know how much the whole thing cost me. But then also included in that are oh, the uh, pins, um, the lovely box. So I'm not sure if it's still available. If you haven't pre-ordered it, it might not be available anymore. These things will probably sell out quick and be very collectible in the future. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'll see you all soon.